Okay, in these first videos, we're going to show you a preview of the Falcon Pie Player's user interface, which is just a simple web page. You get to the web page by typing in the IP address of the Falcon Pie Player in the address bar and hitting enter. And when you get there, you'll see some tabs. One is called Status Control, File Manager, Playlist, Universes, and Scheduler. The first thing we need to do is actually put some content onto the Pi Player. So we'll go to the File Manager tab. And here you'll see three boxes. Um, one for the sequences that are already there, one for the files that are already on the Pi, and then a third one which is where you select files by either dragging into the box from the Explorer, a Windows Explorer window, or by clicking the Add Files button. So we're going to click Add Files. We're going to select four MP3 files that we want to go onto the Pi. And we're going to hit Add Files again, and we'll go ahead and select some, some uh, sequences, two of them. And we hit OK. And now there's six files ready to be put up to the Pi. And notice that the uh, some of the file names are already on the Pi. If they already exist on the Pi, they will be overwritten which is nice if you want to modify or change a file. When we're done, we click the green button to add files. Or, excuse me, not the green button. We click the blue button to start the upload. And the music files go over really quick. But the sequence files take a little bit longer since they're larger in size. And we see that they are... Um, going up now. I will let them run just so you can get an idea how long it takes to upload two 75 megabyte files which at 16,000 channels that's approximately four, four minutes of music or I mean four four minutes of sequence. One note too is that the Falcon Pi player has the ability to output 128 universes of uh, E131 in both unicast or multicast mode. And now that the files have been uploaded, we could go ahead and create playlists, which is what the next video will be uh, talking about. Thank you.